Hello everybody, let's just dive in and ask how we can create this 2.5D animation effect with Blender and DaVinci Resolve. If you haven't seen my latest video, I've uploaded the tutorial on how we can do it on DaVinci Resolve. This time I want to demonstrate how we can create it on a Blender. But for the sake of tutorial, I'm going to just demonstrate a small part that I need to use DaVinci Resolve. By the way, you can use GIMP or Adobe Photoshop or Affinity Photo or any kind of software that can create a masking. And if you like uh, this web series about astronauts that are going to the field on a distance planet and they're looking for internal life or alien so feel free to go to my channel I basically use AI image generation but this time I want to give uh, some credit to Molly so thank you Molly we want to cut down the photo and separate it to two layers we already done it from the latest tutorial this is the foreground it's a PNG transparent alpha and we already have background so first thing first I want to create two timelines one for the foreground and one for the background don't uh, forget to use the same resolution as the image this is uh, 1280 by 980 all right this is the foreground so we want to only cut down the foreground we will create a fusion composition for the foreground let's take the image put it here put media out I'm doing it a little bit quick because uh, this is not the purpose of the video. And I just want to cut down only the foreground. So I'm going to use Magic Max. You can only do it with the Vinci Resolve Studio version, not the free version. With the free version, you can actually do it. Not that quick as the Magic Max. You can use Polygon. We first need to shut the polygon so we can see what's inside of the image. You can use Casey Ferry's is tutorial uh, how to create fusion mask. It will be much easier for you. Uh, but for this tutorial, we can just create it a very quick, nice masking. All right, now I can see it. And all I have to do is just create a very, very hard mask, something like that. And now open it and there we have it we have the masking which is a very nice soft edge the second method is to do it by magic mask all you have to do is we can leave the merge here and just open magic mask put it here and all you have to do is just scribble tell da vinci this is what you need to cut and this is what you don't want subtract I prefer to do it on better, all right, put it on better. By the way, if you want to save it, don't go and press the right button and save image. For some reason, it just don't, doesn't work for me. After you finish with the masking, you go to the edit, only export the first uh, frame because Magic's mask need to be followed. But, but if we will use the polygon, the masking tool, all you have to do is just export one image we will have the foreground and the background. All right, so let's open Blender. You can use the add-on image by plane, by edit, preferences, add-ons, import images plane. For some reason, there is a problem with this. The depth of field of the camera just doesn't work. I want to make this uh, depth of field. You see, it's going for this focus to the astronaut and you see we have some nice jittering with the focus. All we have to do is just take one plane, duplicate it, go to the shading, go to the shader mode and add the material, put image texture, put it here on the base color. And so we have the background and the foreground. This is a PNG alpha. So don't forget to see right here, take this alpha node and put it all around here. We will go to the plane, we'll go to material, and all the way down here, we need to create a blend mode, all right? But before that, don't forget to connect image to the alpha. And here we need to put alpha clip, and there we have it. And let's take the camera by pressing G and Y on the Y axis. Also, we're gonna need to take the plane and rotate it by the X, and rotate it 90 degree also and also the background 90 degree now if you want to really focus your camera go to camera go inside and go to viewport display 
and make everything dark so it will be much easier for you. So I don't have an HDRI, but I can add an environment texture, not image texture, an environment texture, put it here. And if you don't like it, it's also okay. You can just make it brighter. This is how the composition is already made. By the way, I am strongly recommend that you will take the background as far as you can from the camera. So we will make this depth of field just like in real life. All right, and make it very big. It's not like I make it closer. I just make it bigger. So the background is very big. You can always make it shorter, shrink it. Let's fix the foreground. And there we have it. We already have a nice composition. Sometimes we can see this cut of the masking. So usually I prefer maybe take the full image without the masking. Go up, go down. We already have the parallax effect. Let's just take the image and really put it back there and make it very big. So the foreground is very close to the camera. And what we want to do is just make this nice animation. Let's go from the right to the left. Now we can see the, the astronaut's head here. So maybe we'll put it here, something like that. So when the camera is moving, we will see a very slight movement of the stars and everything. Very nice. Now, let's think as a videographer, usually you want to take focal left of 28, 25 or 120, like a real life camera lens. Now it's very narrowed. You see, this is very wide. This is very narrow, 85 millimeters. You can do it more up to you. Make the depth of field. F-stop, maybe 1.8, something like that. So everything start to really fade out and we want to make the focus. So we have this very nice bokeh. So let's animate the camera. It will move from this side. Maybe it start from here. Eye to location until here. Something like that. Goes here and eye for location. And we have a nice movement. See, like the camera is traveling, but we want to play with the focus. So I will go here and press I. So we have this nice focus polling. Maybe here we can add a light because there is a big light here, point light, and make it very strong. And I want to put the light all the way, you see, all the way on the background. So the light can be right inside of the starry thing, something like that. Maybe we can even make it a little bit more reddish and make it very strong. It basically, it's, it's touching the surface of the plane. And if you want to create some more light, let's put another light, some nice light here, maybe near the astronaut and another light here. So maybe put it on red and this one will be on I don't know, maybe blue, yeah, green. So we want to animate the light, but I really like this glowing light. You can see another light here. And let's go and choose this light. It will start and we'll make it here on the eye. It will be something here and it will go something like 46 foot. And we will press I again, but we don't like it too much, you see, on the left side, but we want to make it blinking. We can go to the graph editor. Just make sure you are on the power mode, on the layer that is opening the keyframe. And just press it. And if you don't have this one, just press N. We go to modifiers. Go to add modifiers and noise. You can play whatever you want, scale, strength. If you see here, it's playing automatically with the keyframes. Yeah, let's do something like that. If you want to add some little bit more realistic look, maybe do some glitching on the focus. So I really like it. Just play with the focus. So this is the focus pull. And all of a sudden, I want to make it... Okay, this is the focus. If we move here, we will be out of focus and we can just play with it. So it will be something like that. Like there is a problem with the focus 
you can make it as far as you want maybe here you can play whatever you want you can add some more light hope you like my tutorial if you do please leave a like share comments subscribe i will really appreciate it hope to see you soon